Fenway casts a shadow on Lansdowne Street, but the lights were on at the House of Blues for Club 25, a night at the Copa. The players' wives were the ones brainstorming along with my wife to try to find a way to make a, a different and unique night where Obviously, we can raise some good money for for a good cause, but uh, make it enjoyable and something different than just your regular sit-down dinner. Yeah. So we came up with this Vegas-themed uh, type uh, night. I wanted to bring Miami up to Boston and um, just give the community something different to experience, and I think we definitely accomplished that. The proceeds will go to the Mike Lowell Foundation. And I think we target two main areas, kids with cancer, uh, dealing not, not so much with cancer research, but I'd say uh, with payments for treatments. You know, there's a lot of kids that are going through tough times now. And not only I think is that a hard time physically and emotionally, not only for the kids, but for their parents as well, but paying for it is another burden. So I think if we help out in that sense, you know, I think we can make that tough time a little bit easier. And then we also like to focus on uh, inner city sports programs in the Boston and Miami area because, I don't know, personally I feel like I learned a lot of life's lessons through sports. You know, I think you learn how to be a team player, you learn how to fail and how to come back. And I think when you learn all those lessons, it helps you on later on in life. And, uh, you know, with the economy that the way it is today, I think, I think there's volunteers and there's people that want to have leagues going on, but sometimes they don't have the financial resources for equipment or whatnot to get going so hopefully we can you know help out in that in that sense we're looking forward to helping out two inner city football leagues um pop warner and little football teams in september now next month so we're excited about that we're going to surprise them and yeah i guess not much of a surprise now that i just said it but there you go <laughs>I think Vegas chic means wear whatever the heck you want to wear. Who are you wearing? Uh, Tim Wakefield. But I kind of, yeah, I went with a little bit of a maybe Al Pacino, Scarface type look without the drugs. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, just, just good fun. You see Jason? He looks like Tom Cruise and Whiskey Fizz. There's, you know, uh, blackjack tables and roulette tables in there. and. Obviously not for real money, but just a different type of feel, something where you can dress up, have a good time, and, you know, uh, good food, good drinks, a nice place, and we could, uh, you know, with the money we raise, I think we're helping out a lot of people. That's how you roll! That's what you did! <laughs> <laughs> we're, going to oh, we're not going to Vegas. I think I'm going to play blackjack, and if I'm up, you know, they're going to have, like, a cutoff. I'll probably put it, like, all on red, you know, to see if I can double my money. 26, there's no way you're beating us. Club 25, a night at the Copa, raised more than $100,000 for the Mike Lowell Foundation. And the House of Blues will be the place to be again this week when Mike's teammate, Josh Beckett, hosts the third annual Beckett Bowl this Thursday at Lucky Strike Lanes. The event's after party at the House of Blues features a performance by Beckett's friend, country music star Pat Green. For more info and tickets, visit BeckettBowl.com.